Welcome to Forever Synth, where we have been out of our little studio for a little while because of this, I don't know, this virus nonsense. I, I don't, do you know much about it, Joe? I don't know. You ever heard about uh, it? No. I, no, I, I know, I don't get it. Well, the studio's shut, so we're still <laughs> trying something different. And with us, special guest tonight is Laura Lee Bishop. It's Primo the alien herself. Great intro, Rob. Hey, thanks very much. Really good. Yeah, <laughs> that, uh, like, that whole section of like, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, see, I that yeah, was come across like I care least. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, what's like this that. one, Joe? She's fiery. She's fiery, yeah. and um, I mean, we, which actually, you know, let's let's. What's your what's your favorite swear word? First question, just get it out there. Yeah, I know you're yeah. gagging. Why Both. don't I just just talk and we'll find out along the yeah. way? You know, <laughs> just yeah, can, maybe the people at home can do a count and then <laughs> we'll find out. I could surprise everyone though and not curse at all. Oh um, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. maybe. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to ordinarily, but yeah, this is going to go on YouTube and, and Spotify, so we can <laughs> swear the hell we want. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like you want me to curse. Well, I kind of do, only because I remember I heard uh, Dennis um, kind of goading you on status <laughs> to say a few swear words. and then He's, he's always swearing. goading me to do know, things. Right? And he crazy? says the strangest things sometimes. Where I'm like... <laughs> He thinks um, I know everything I do is like overtly sexual, but he thinks everything is got like a hidden meaning. And I'm like, no, sometimes it's just, it's just you. I just said, hi, man. Like there was no, no meaning behind it. You know, just so you, you, you looked at him, you looked at him and that was enough. Made yeah. For the next time. Yeah. 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 Watch slime ball. <laughs> next time I see him, Oh, I'll give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, okay. please do. Yeah, I will. Prima. Time to go fuck himself. <gasps> oh, hey. All right. Okay, that's oh, number yeah. one. Okay, number one. Number one. <laughs> number one. God, I should have gone and not cursed the whole time just to disappoint you, but that's I like to make people happy. So yeah. Thank you. That's very kind. I'm sure Dennis would say that's something sexual, you know, but it was just I just like to make people happy. Exactly. In a very family friendly way. Yeah, and, and oh. Andy probably would have gone the same way. Oh no, Andy's more <laughs> geeky. You you really get you really laid into Andy. That was fun. Uh, I mean, yeah. just just was naturally what came out. You know, he's a he is an easy target. Um, so I guess it was low hanging fruit, and yeah. I'm a little ashamed that I even you know, it's no. too easy almost. You know what I mean? It's too yeah. easy, and then it's not as fun, right? It's challenging. So, no, I think no, I think yeah. I, you just went straight in there about his love for cartoons or something, and just mm -hmm, like, ah, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I was going easy too. I thought, but yeah. you know, he, 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 you loved him in. Hey, Max, what do you think about you? I just want to quickly ask something. Speaking of making people happy, uh, this brings me on to my first question quite nicely. Um, you were making a lot of people happy in the, um, in the stream the other night. Uh, in fact, so happy that you broke the internet. Oh, and we're curious oh, to know. Yeah, yeah. What, so uh, there was a surge in viewers, I did notice, before it happened. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing, right? People were there to see, to see you live with your really? dogs. Brilliant, brilliant addition, by the way. I just Thank want to say, much. massive dog lover. So, one, how did you break the internet? Like, what, what, what was it? Was it your your power? Your shit? It wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it was that. Um, I just, it's too much for people, and it was probably, you know, the god, rock gods, like looking out for everyone. They didn't want to do like, I didn't want to it melt faces or explode heads oh. or anything. So, kind of had to like, you know, just do it in little chunks like that. Skip, skip, skip. So that they weren't getting too much at one time. No, um, I just sent them, you know, I didn't stream that. That was obviously, um, we did pre-taped and then live interviews. Mm -hmm. I did perform it live, but, you know, I edited it together. I, I, there weren't yeah. three of me there, you know, yeah. tracking what? everything one time. That's not, that's not what Dennis said. <laughs> well, Dennis has his own little fantasies, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. um, but, uh... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I sent them a 4K video and I guess I just thought they'd downgrade it, but if they, you know, stream some 4K and that didn't right. happen very, that didn't go down very well. Yeah. Um, so it was, we, I was freaking out. I did cry afterwards, oh, um, yeah. but I cry like that. every day. So that's no big deal. I cry, I cry probably like three times a day. Is that, is that um, the lockdown or do you, are you just a crying you? Oh, I'm just a crier. Like I am one of those people who people think are so mean and like horrible, but I'm actually like the most emotional, like nice person really. And I have like a huge heart and little things affect me. And so like just a commercial, we'll, I'll cry. I, it's, a, it's, it's, I would say at least three times a day, a little tear, you know, wow, not a full, with a little mm, no, with the, 
with the live stream, I had a good one it's what oh, they, where the, can, the tears fell down oh. my face. Well, because people were so annoyed. They were like, shut it off. I can't glitch, glitch, glitch. <laughs> and everyone's comments were like, lag, 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 lag. And I was just looking at the screen and I was texting, you know, the midnight being like, you guys got to shut it down. You got to, we got to cut the interview. We got to, uh, I was like freaking out. And then they were like, then they tried again and it didn't work. And then they were like, hey, just, just come on with your guitar. And I was like, oh, uh, hey, you know. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that either. So Whoa. I was sitting there like trying to learn the chords and you know, it was just one of those things where I was freaking out. And then when it was done, I was like, oh my God, what just happened? How? Well, I'll just have another Bloody Mary, I guess. And that's <laughs> yeah, what you did. <laughs> part of me thinks perhaps that maybe, maybe the dogs around the world knew that, you know, there were gonna be dogs on camera. Maybe there were like a million and a half dogs tuning into this stream as well to see your yeah. beautiful yeah. Yeah. Labradors. Yeah, yeah. Are they, are they, they were black labs, weren't they? Is that right? I can't Yeah, well, just the one. He, he oh, played one? all roles. He played all roles, yes. Oh. He's a very versatile actor Funny. and actually was super method about it. Um, <laughs> and he wouldn't talk to me for like the whole day. He was just like, you know, kind of like giving my space. I'm, yeah. I'm working. So, you know, um, and afterwards he kind of got a big head. I will admit. Pardon me? He probably got a lot of dog mail. A lot of dog business. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He also got hate mail too, oh. which is surprising. So, you know, it's just. Hate is going to hate. I mean, I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? And what does it mean to an independent artist to get that kind of platform, which you then broke? Oh, my God. It was huge. I was freaking out. It came about because I did the. Um, the Midnight's Remix competition oh, of course you and was robbed. Uh, mine was by far the best. Um, too good, again, you know, yeah. how it is. When it's too good, it's too... So one time someone told me that they didn't make it on American Idol because they were too good. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those kind of things, you know. You got to the, you got to the uh, judges' houses twice, no? American Idol. I went to Hollywood twice, yes. I did. Sure did, wow. got that golden ticket. In yeah. Tyler year. Mariah Carey year. Yeah, it was the I was there. Yeah, the Steven Tyler uh, J Lo year, and then the Nicki Minaj Keith Urban Mariah Carey year. Impressive. So wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a impressive person. But anyway, back to more about me. Um, yeah. it was wonderful when they asked me to do it because oh, so I did the I did the uh, remix competition, and then I had a little I did a little live stream with one of my friends in Austin, a music thing where we played some music. And I had makeup on and my hair washed, which is, you guys need to know, I did this today because I was going to see you guys. I washed my hair and put on makeup. And so it was like a rare moment. And I was like, oh, what should I do? You know, and I had just been hearing that song because I listened to the little, you know, thing they put on the, uh, the competition on air or whatever. And that yeah. song was stuck in my head. So I just noodled around a little on my guitar and sang it acoustic and then posted it. I didn't really think anything of it. Usually I like film those things a hundred times and want it to sound perfect and all that stuff. And I just kind of posted it online mm -hmm. and I guess they saw it and they liked it. And oh. um, their manager was like, Hey, this was kind of the reason we did this. We were like, Oh, that's, we should do a live stream and we should have Primo do it. So well done. Yeah. Nice to see you. Good, good, yeah, good so guy. really all the money that was raised that day, in essence, you could say uh, was all my doing. And some would say that. I wouldn't say it, but one you, could extrapolate that from that story. You could make that assumption and it would be a correct mm -hmm. assumption. You, mm -hmm. you, you, it's not a huge say, leap. So. Yeah, all the nurses and doctors. No, it was, it, was a, it was a music aid thing, right? It went to musicians' charity. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, okay. Plus one org. And you can one. still donate, donate to that. I did, now, did you, Joe? So. Did you donate? Uh, do you know what? Did I get around to I've got a feeling I didn't get around to If you donated, you would remember, okay? <laughs> no, I didn't Not because sure. you can you can donate in the UK at first, could you? Remember that? It wasn't you couldn't donate outside of the UK. So that's why I couldn't do it. I went so, to the, uh, that's my excuse. You went so, to and use that I didn't, <laughs> like I didn't get donated to anything myself. Just my sweet precious time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that has worth in itself. Yeah, some hey. say it's invaluable. Primo, the alien, you live in Austin, but you came from a small farm town, I happen to know. Gosh, you guys did your research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I just wondered, um, yeah. did, that, did that small town living give you the kind of kick-ass, grab the world by the throat kind of attitude that, that, that you have? Was that part of why you wanted to be a... Uh, I would say yeah. that's a large part of it. It's a large motivator for me too, like one day, one day I'll show them. And then they'll be sorry what they, yeah, do, you know, that kind of thing. Across me. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, great. I, my mom still lives in my hometown, unfortunately. Um, oh. I go there for the holidays. I have friends and family there, but I'm also like, yeah, the town pariah. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a mixed bag, you know, um, it was, it was a, it was a good upbringing. I have great friends and, um, I definitely have a more well-rounded view of the world than some of my peers, I would say, who say things like to me, like, well, you just have to. To, I have friends who will say, oh, you just have to explain to them about like the climate, you know, you just tell them, you just show them and then they'll understand about climate change or whatever. And I'm like, you, yeah, that's, how <laughs> that's not how it happens. Okay. It so yeah, I think I have somewhat of like a understanding of some of those things that maybe my friends just, it's just so over their head or under their head, maybe. Yeah. You get that lot in small towns, right? Joe, where you, you're from a small town, aren't you, Joseph? Yeah. Um, but then, you know, suddenly it got on the map when they got the, the high speed rail link to France and suddenly it was ah. a place to be. Oh. But, but I'm from, yeah, I'm, I'm from a suburb and I, you know, I enjoyed playing in rivers and breaking my hips on rocks and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I think, Whereas Rob has grown up in London his whole life, you can tell his his blinkered view on life. Yeah, so posh and so, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very out of touch. Yeah, mm, very mm-hmm. much so. He, he doesn't actually know anywhere outside of London, I don't think, apart from Centre Parks, which is yeah, like a family park. Birmingham, I went to London once, twice. Oh, where did you go? And um, what the, the second, well, I went when I was in high school and that it was just kind of like, uh, you know, high school, you can't do much. I was with like someone mm-hmm. else's mom. It was lame as fuck. Yeah. Um, but I went more recently in the last few years and my husband and I went on a walking tour of um, Jack the Ripper. Oh, and it was really? like this long, oh, long, listen, listen, listen. So we get there, we have jet lag and we're trying to stay awake. So we like, we're like, let's find something to do. So we're walking around and it's like, oh, it's a free walking tour. We'll take you around the town, whatever. We're like, okay. So this guy is like putting on a show. I mean, he's acting things out and he's, it was very long Hmm. and very detailed and very, it was really wonderful. And we were like, wow, this was free. This is crazy. So (laughs) we kept saying like, we can't believe this is free. And then, um, He comes up to us at the end and he's like, uh, did you guys get the tickets or how, how did you join the group? And we're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. so we crashed a paid walking Came tour. Over but... here and fleeced us. Um, <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a real set of, um, I'm just kissing your ass a bit. You co- comedian Please voice. do, I love that. Okay, uh, the comedic voices and characters and your little Instagram skits, love all that stuff. Where, where Thank you so training? much. Where was your training ground? Why, 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 how'd you do all that stuff then? Oh, well, I studied under a great, yeah, Hollywood. um, <laughs> I just, um, I, I love comedy. St- I love, my music is very comedic. I mean, obviously it's very tongue in cheek on the nose, sometimes too on the nose. Do you mean? Um, someone said to me the other day that my music isn't tongue in cheek, it's tongue in asshole. Oh, that's not- and I thought that was a very astute <laughs> observation. <laughs> um, no, like in another life, I feel like I would, it, I, comedy would be something I would do. Like maybe I would um, do try to do stand up or something like that. I always think yeah, like maybe I should try, but I don't need to do any more. Like I've done, I do enough things. I'm always like, no, stop. You just do the thing you're doing. It's enough. But I do have a comedy podcast um, called oh, Heavy Friending. Oh, cool. Where can I yeah. find that? So that that's on Apple. Po- it's on everywhere. So anywhere yeah. podcast or stream, Heavy Friending, you could listen to that. Friendly it's about um, two strangers. And we actually met because he was interviewing me for my first EP to the max. And we were just laughing so hard during the interview. And afterwards we were like, let's start a podcast. And we didn't know anything about it, like nothing about each other. And so the podcast is about us trying to become friends. Oh, that'd be nice. So, uh, spoiler alert for best friends. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of um, comedy, um, I'm just obviously curious to know what your take on american comedy is in terms of would you are you a seinfeld lover or arrested development always sunny in philadelphia have you got i love all three of those things um okay yeah i like i like i like uh what's the word 
Mm. Inside, so like deep inside jokes, maybe, or like things where so you can arrested have to, development. Like, be, oh, yeah. I, I love like that, when yeah. you know something that maybe someone else doesn't know who's watching it with you, and you're like, you don't know yeah. why that's funny, but it's really <laughs> funny. Um, yeah. That's my kind of humor. Um, no, I'm into like Always Sunny. I watch that all the time. Um, Seinfeld. I love Seinfeld. And um, Ar Arrested Development is like one of my nighttime. I watch it before I go to bed because I've seen every episode so many times that it, I won't stay awake to watch it because I even the latest seasons because they're not quite as yes, good are they even the latest seasons and I liked the latest seasons too because I'm loyal y'all okay, okay. aren't loyal <laughs> y'all need to learn loyalty okay <laughs> Well, I've watched every episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I would say at least four times. That's definitely one. That's probably my favorite comedy from America. Very good. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that one, too. Yeah. But I like the U.S. office, too. I like the U.K. office, but I also like the U.S. office. Just a now, yeah, but which little one lighter. Is better? Which one is better? Be careful. The U.K. one. I think they're just total. I think they're like apples and oranges. They are. That's true. That's a good answer. A lot it's of people, like when two they different do shows. Yeah. I mean, it is two different shows, but it's not even like, it's almost not even a remake. They're just so different. The whole tone is different. Have you seen uh, Ricky Gervais' new vehicle? Um, Pardon? Have you seen Ricky Gervais' new vehicle? Oh, the, the oh. Laughter Life Afterlife. thing? Yeah. Afterlife. Okay, let me tell y'all. So I told you I cry like three times a day. And that oh. little preview thing, it looked like it was emotional. And I was like, uh -uh, I don't do that. It is. I don't it's do very, that. It's very, very emotional. Y'all don't understand. If I see something sad, it... I will, I have to put a pillow, I'm not kidding. Like I'll watch a movie with my family and I'll have to take a pillow while we're watching it and put it over my whole head because I heave like this. <laughs> so yeah, it's like that, it's bad and I'll, and they know. My mother will never forget when she made me watch Precious. Precious, now that is Oh hardcore. yeah, yeah. Biggest mistake. Ever. And Marley, Marley and me. That's the one that gets me. Marley being and a oh, see, that's the thing that I think you may be a psychopath. <laughs> I think you might be a psychopath. Let me tell you why. I didn't watch it alone. These people with these dogs. Okay, it's like Titanic when everyone. Spoiler alert! Everyone listening. Spoiler alert! Um, the Titanic hits an iceberg. What? Um, everyone is dying, and the horse jumps over, and you would think. I mean, people are sobbing over that fucking horse. There's huge, there's babies freezing to death. Okay, people? It's like that muscle, that cats one. What was that one that just came out? Oh, cats and Don't dogs. fuck oh. with cats. Yeah, fuck yeah. With cats. yeah. Okay, that was fucked up. I was very disturbed. I cried. I was upset. And, and then the me, woman and is me. talking about the cat, and she's like, I can't look at it. And then they show her the video of the man, and she's like, oh, yeah, that sucked, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. What happened? I've seen Tiger King, obviously. Everybody. Oh, yeah. I've got a great, I'm going to do something with Tiger King soon oh. for a project I have. Yeah. Well, because I have a song coming out called Sexual Safari. And so sure. there's a lot to get him done there. Are you going to get, get him out on bail and get him involved in the music video? I oh, would well. love to. And this is an open call right now. If you are listening, Joe Exotic, I hit me up and we'll work out something and we'll do a go find me whatever we'll get you out I, I would love you in the music video get carol baskin involved as well but then again no, she might be in prison soon because you she know she's too much of a prima donna she obviously murdered him did you notice my strategically placed prop oh, oh my gosh we're matching yeah. that's so cute there you go. and you're missing your little flux capacitor too yeah, yeah. yeah it, it sticks in but it came out broke off but, um, oh no! What have you been doing with that car, bud? My, uh, well, I'm um, just. What you doing with it? All right, because it's a little worse for wear. <laughs> Looks like it's had a ride or two. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Very nice. Uh, well it's got a happy ending, didn't it? Because uh, the <laughs> at the end, you got the credit. Well done. Oh yes, talk about that. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Yeah, good, it's yeah? great. It was a very happy ending for me. Yeah, well yeah. done. Good. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that the, the scene was definitely rooting for you. Um, my only qualm is why a DeLorean? Why not a nice 89 Datsun or a Volkswagen it's Beetle? A, you know, my 89 that's Datsun, like it doesn't have a great um, rhythmic feel to it. That's so same. that is was part of it, oh. you know. My 89 Datsun. I just don't know if I. <laughs> If it, if it's it working sounds very countryfied when you say that. That, that sounds like a very good country record. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll make a country record just for you about that '89. So Thank your you friends are friends again. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are doing the gotcha thing. 
So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You're doing a little gotcha moment. No, (laughs) Um, friends, no, I wouldn't say we're friends, Um, but I, I I don't have any like animus or animosity. Uh, It was fixed. That's all I wanted. Um, You know, I hope in the future that it's not something that happens again. Mm. And for, for, you know, I hope that he thinks more about those things when he does, you know, future endeavors like that. But um, I, yeah, I'm all good. It's for me. I mean, a lot of people are like, you burned a bridge, you burned bridges. You'll never work on this town again. I, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> and first of all, um, I, I love the scene and um, I'm ha- very happy to be part of it. But if this scene were to um, disown me over being honest about something that was incorrect and wrong, well then, Fuck you is kind of how I feel. And so I didn't have a lot of like, you know, I I was nervous to do it because I didn't want to deal with any backlash or anything. But at the same time, I was kind of like, if you, if if you don't appreciate what I just did or, you know, you have a problem with it, Mm. probably not someone that I want in in my, in my little circle, you know, or Mm. someone that I even want listening to my music. It's, you know, everybody saw about it were, were kind to both of you. But I think I think people wanted to see uh, to see the right outcome. But I mean, uh, I, I, when I first heard it, of course, I didn't know that you wrote it and recorded it and all that stuff. So to me, it was a really yeah, right here where I'm sitting, like literally right here. Gotcha. Except my desk used to face this way, so really it was like this. This uh-huh. is history. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Is this where the sound's coming from? <laughs> <laughs> like a good okay. one. You, uh, you're, you're one with Ace Buchanan, Secret. Love that. Love that track. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys played it. We listened. Um, oh, thank you. I think I, you had a nice, um, a lot of compliments to say. You did say a couple of rude things, but um, I liked that because it, it <laughs> kept it what? like more authentic. I get that you had to throw that in there to like make it real. I know that's only right. the only reason you were critical was so that people well, just didn't want you to think you were. You critical, Joe. Well, that's our thing. That's, a, that's kind of our thing. We're not going to sit there and say we like every single thing that gets submitted mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. that doesn't get that. People don't improve if you keep telling them their stuff is brilliant. Mm-hmm. That's My not stuff is it. brilliant, but um, also I had to work with Ace. So, you know, like obviously it's like we meet in the. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ace and I are like best friends. We talk every day. So, oh, um, nice. yeah. yeah. And he looks yeah. so young. I mean, he looks yeah. what? He looks so young. He's got a good skincare routine, that one. Um, yeah, I think he uses his own semen or something like that. Yeah, probably That's does. what he was telling yeah. me. Yeah. I've um, um, heard it's, uh, it's, it does wonders. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, true. Um, eat a lot of bananas too. It's, it helps, I heard. Yeah. So Cameron Diaz good. swears by it as well. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In her hair, as a hair treatment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, about earlier, hair. You mentioned, earlier you mentioned, uh, obviously, about you've had training and things and probably sort of acting and singing. Now you've got a very like a huge vocal range that kind of suits almost every occasion. Now, how long did it take you to get to a point where you were satisfied that you could provide vocals for any given moment, for any given song, any style? Have you have you reached that point yet? Are there still parts of your voice that you're still working on, or are you there? Would you say? Um, I'm. I think anyone who makes music is always trying to improve and um, yeah. is always learning and growing and getting better. Um, I thank you. I mean, essentially what you said is that I'm the best singer, (laughs) I guess, in this scene at at minimum. Um, And so I accept (laughs) that. I agree. And (laughs) I know I I, I love singing. It's something that I've done my whole life. I've been, I took classical lessons since uh, third grade. I competed in, in, um, in, in classical stuff, you know, singing opera stuff and doing things like that. Um, I uh, started playing, writing my own songs at a young age, I guess maybe like 15, maybe younger. I don't know. I just, this is something I've been doing a long time, but every day I feel like I get a little um, better or I find my voice a little more maybe. Are you, are you able, or if you're ready and warmed up, can you show us your lowest to your highest range? Can oh my gosh, answer? that is insane. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I don't know if I could, I don't know, I don't know what my lowest and my De- highest range Dennis did. Are, you know what I mean? De- Dennis would do it for us, and he's a completely normal guy. Dennis would do a lot of things for a, a, for a little, you know what I mean? And, um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, Rob is fucking his DeLorean. 
Um, objectum sexual is what they call you. A car sexual. <laughs> um, I'm intrigued by your past, man. You used to work at Tommy Boy Records. What did you do there? Yeah, um, I put out a couple pop songs with them. That's actually kind of what started me on this whole primo thing was um, I didn't like, well, I loved uh, Tommy Boy and all the people there and blah, 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 you know, the whole spiel, whatever. But I just didn't like asking someone else's, I, I just don't like anyone else's opinion. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just wanted to do what I wanted to do and I didn't want to talk about, run it by anyone really. Now, when I write music, I'll send it to people I care about and, and try to get their feedback and things like that. But I'm going to do what I'm going to do, you know, like, and it's just going to happen. And so I, that's what start, started Primo was I just kind of was like, hmm, maybe I don't need all these other parts and pieces and yeah. people. Um, Cause a lot of things that were like my gut instinct on things were, no, you don't do that. Or that's not you or whatever. Hmm. It's kind of like, well, it is. I know what I do cause uh, I'm doing it type of thing. <laughs> so that's what started Primo's. I was like, oh, well, let me make some beats, see what happens. And I kind of was like, there's no, there's no way I'll ever put this out. Like I'll never do this. And then I did it. And then it, it kind of happens like that with everything in life like you're like no and then all of a sudden you are you know I'll, yeah. i'm not gonna do that freeway and then you wake up and you, you know <laughs> dennis and okay. oh, sure. fox or whatever yeah and you're like, they'll be Ugh. very happy to hear that very very happy i know dennis is gonna like rewind rewind <laughs> let's just get him like a little i'll send him a little looped clip so he doesn't yeah. have to keep <laughs> we love those going clips. back 10 seconds you know oh jules and dennis we love you we love you Hey man, um, yes, yes. A new single, which is which comes out when we're recording this, it comes out tomorrow. But yes. It may well be today by the time this airs. Cool, cool. Yes, um, it's called "Watch Me" with Betamax. Yes. It's available everywhere, um, and to, and today is being Camp Day, right? Of course, so yeah, yeah. Purchase so, the song and uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We get it. We get it. Yeah, just yeah, you out, get it. Yeah. Say it. Don't, and don't, you can do any it. amount you want. So, like, if you wanted, <laughs> you know, one to, to give me more, yeah, sixty nine. I would like sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> we would. <laughs> um, no, that one was fun. It, it's a fun song. It's it's like a. It's more my style. Well, it's it's more my style than some of my other collabs just because it's like a little less synth wave, a little more like 80s pop type of okay. joint, okay. you know? So. A bit like uh, the new Damaging Phoenix and Power Nerd type of... Yeah, maybe a little more. It's just like sassy and upbeat and yeah. Oh. Like Patti LaBelle's Something Special. Do you know that song? Yeah. Something Special. That song? See, you can sing. You, you just you just didn't want I to. I can enough. sing, yes. I, honey, I can sing. <laughs> Yeah, Mariah Carey take, thought so. Okay. Give it, give it a <laughs> couple of octaves higher. Go on. You know you want to go there. I want to hear you go high. You come guys got to. You yeah. got I'm sure I'll do a live stream at some point and sing live. You guys didn't ask yeah, me to break, my, And you'll break the phone. internet again. We, can, we, can, we can't keep coming onto a broken internet. <laughs> it's just not feasible. Now I know the ways. So I've got all the kinks worked out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. why, uh, why Primo the Alien? Why the Alien? Was it for and why Primo? Uh, there's a whole story. There's a whole story behind Primo the alien. Got Primo's ten. an intergalactic assassin from the future, sent back in time. Yeah. From there's a bucket from another dimension to um and another planet, by the way, for a hit job. She falls in love with her target, and then she ends up staying here on Earth in the '80s. So all of most of my songs fit into that motif. I had not picked that um, up. She's like, yeah, no. yeah. So um, I would still like make love. That song kind of like tells a story where she's like, my mission's over and they're calling, you know, like I gotta go home, but I don't want to and what do I do and blah, blah, blah. And they're gonna come for us if we try to run away. Um, yeah, yes. so. Thematic, mm -hmm. big thematic uh, mm -hmm. arc they're going on. Yeah. Why, why is it that we see Primo the Alien on some, like on say um, Spotify, and maybe, oh, actually, I think Primo is just on Spotify. That's the only place is just Primo, because you can't change your artist name. It's uh, it's too much of a pain in the ass. And when I first did it, I asked people's advice. They're like, just do Primo. And I was like, oh, and I knew in my gut that I should do Primo the Alien. And I did the thing people said. Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Don't, All right? Don't, do don't listen to anyone. 
Well, actually, we, we used to be called Ever Synth the 80s, and we listened to everyone saying, change it to Forever Synth. And now look at us, here in our bedrooms with our yeah. lovely bed spreads. I mean, yeah. we've, we've made it. We have made it because of a name change. Yeah, you're not in your bedroom, are you? No. Uh, yeah. Yes. In my kitchen. Well, me, me and my girlfriend's bedroom, yes. Okay, well, calm down now. We don't need to put <laughs> you need to... I, I've got a girlfriend, uh, <laughs> in case anyone wanted to know. Yeah, he yes. pulls a blow-up doll from off-camera. <laughs> He's like, that's great. Just pull that one out. Yeah. yeah, yours, exactly. We know that. Yeah. Um, what's your routine? Sorry, What's your routine? No, no, you, you, you go ahead. What's your, um, your lockdown sanity routine? What are you doing? To uh, do you know, wake up, rub one out, right? Yep. Um, Stand. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I do, I've been doing a lot of yoga, actually, which has been wonderful. And um, writing and recording. I just, like the new one coming out, Sexual Safari, was written and recorded and mixed and mastered and everything. I actually did the photo shoot myself with a little remote control camera oh, thing. Oh, some plants. Um, you Pardon ordered, me. You ordered some plants for that. Yes, I did. I did order some Amazon plants for that. So yeah, I've been creating a lot of music and, um, you know, trying to make the most of my time and uh, keep moving forward. I think that's forward. the difference. That's I, can do. I think that's the difference between you and like other people. Some people are generally, they've lost all motivation. Mm -hmm. But th this is the time when we've actually got the time to, you know, to, to do experiments, to, to, to find the time for things we didn't have time for before. Right. You know, I'm, it's I, I, a lot of people are probably not embracing perhaps this opportunity. I mean, in, I, I'm probably one of those people to be fair. So it sounds like you've just yeah. gone down and dirty and just carried on with things and, and obviously pushed yourself even harder. Well, everybody handles stress differently and everybody yeah. reacts to situations differently. So I don't want to say like what anyone should be doing or shouldn't no, be doing. Some people not, need no. this time to do with, you know, to just chill or whatever. I'm just mm -hmm. the kind of person where I when I get stressed, this is just what I do. Like this is a natural um, release for me. So yeah. you can only masturbate so many times in a day. You know <laughs> what I mean? It gets yeah, painful yeah. after a while. So you have to take a break and I just, you know, um, wash my hands of course, and then Lube. get right back into it. Yeah. Lube. Oh, for the sex yeah. doll. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't make their own. Um... Put that right up. Is that some kind of a butt plug? Okay, cool. Yes, a pez. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, those can be used done. for a lot of things. So that's. Nice. I yeah. like that you repurpose yeah. sort of childhood um, child toys and things for sexual purposes. You got to recycle. Yeah, recycle. Yeah, up. I mean, you're you're creating less waste, really. Someone okay. say. Certainly, and less waste. Waste. and a lot of the facial treatments. Yeah. So. He's in his forties. He's got to reminisce. He's got to dream. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes Pez toys is where it's at, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, well, that one's a good know. shaped Pez. I mean, it's it's. Got a, hasn't got hasn't seen. If a you lot were of gonna, use. if you were gonna have one that you inserted into your anus, I guess that's a great one to do. <laughs> that would be the ideal one. Um, we've got a few minutes left. What what's next for Primo? You got your single coming up. What's next? We got, can we have an album? Yeah, yeah. We got we got the single uh, today, right? We yep. got uh, Sexual Safari in June. June. We got another one in July Ooh. with a little label, a little label you guys may know Ooh. that I'm excited about. Um, I have a full length. I have so much finished like that. I was planning on releasing this summer a, a, a full length. Well, then I was told don't release a full length. Like oh. that's crazy in today's world. You know, no oh. one has the attention span, whatever. Um, but I have a lot of songs that are done. Yeah. So they'll come out eventually. I just, obviously, I don't know if I want to put out a whole album in uh, I want to have a big show. I want to have a big party. Yeah. I want to, yeah. you know, do all those things. So, um, that's in the future. I have I have a ton of music to release. Until then, I'm just going to keep putting out singles and um, keep making new songs in quarantine. I think I'll I'll think I'll just keep honestly. I think I may keep the ones that are done and just keep adding and and releasing quickly like this. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, that's a good so. shout. A great shout. Oh, the one um, I mean, Sexual Safari is the first one that I've mixed and mastered myself. So uh, this has given me a lot of time to do that and. I'm excited to like to, to start getting more into the mixing and mastering part two of the process. So. 
She's a talented lass. Is a uh, is yeah. Know, Keeping busy. You know, it's good to see. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Necessity well, is the definitely. mother of invention, right? No, we're gonna be we're gonna be stuck like this for a while. So we might as well be creative. Yeah. Yes. And you've been quite creative, exactly. <laughs> Too creative. <laughs> um, Primo, it's been a joy to speak to you. Thank you. Indeed, it's it been great talking to y'all. I'm yeah. sorry, I was I didn't I don't know if I cursed enough for you, but I, mean, I did fun. get a couple um anal uh yeah. references in there and yeah. uh you took a masturbatory talk. Yeah. So yeah. it's a slight twist on where we've been before with other shows. So Beyonce didn't didn't get all the wanking. So uh, Oh no. <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, I didn't he seems too excitable for that, you know. I don't wanna uh, I think so. Right. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Andy too. Like I really do. I we bonded, you know, over our, our stressful <laughs> podcast that we did. Because I when I, you know, was gonna do that, I said he we were going to do the interview like we i didn't plan to go on there and do that but the interview was happening and i was just at a point and i messaged him about the time cop stuff and he was yeah. like uh can you call me <laughs> i was like yeah <laughs> and then you, you know i put a lot on his shoulders so it yeah. was great that he um well next me... time somebody next time someone screws you over please mm -hmm. you know we've actually got two shoulders that you can lean if on you, and, sure definitely uh, definitely yeah, yeah. Do 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 okay, do feel great. free to vent. Uh, obviously, yeah, yeah. on the live show, it will be. It's funny because everyone thinks I'm gonna, it, like, Betamax was like, if if this is cool with you, kept saying like that. I'm like, no, dude, we're good, we're good. This yeah. is fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, Beta. Wicked. Right. I think that's it. I think yeah. unfortunately we've run out of time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Primo. Um, thank you for having me. Joy. Um, thanks again. Love your apartment. It looks it looks super cool. You got some. Thank it you. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And good luck for a uh, bank uh, bank camp free way uh, no fees yeah, waiver yeah. day. Hell good yeah. Luck. Yeah. Yeah. Going on bye bye bye. Primo, it's been a joy. Thanks for joining us. Hi guys. Thanks thank for you. having me. You and care. also, bye -bye. you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day, Primo, whatever you end up doing. All right, bye, guys. See you. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya.